At a rally in New York, a legendary Iranian singer, Gugush, came to do what she has never done before. Have you ever been on a hunger strike? Uh, no, this is my first time. Joining Gugush, a who's who of famous Iranians living in exile. Actors, authors, artists. Like Gugush, most are banned from working in Iran, but still yearn to go back. All of them going without food for three days to support Iran's opposition movement and demand the release of political prisoners arrested after the elections. The names of the detainees printed on this banner. As an artist, uh, I have uh, a voice that I can ask the world to help our people. The message is that uh, you're not alone, that we're with you, we believe in you, you have lasted 30 years, you can't take it anymore. Few have made a bigger impact with this form of protest than the organizer of this event, Iranian journalist and political dissident Akbar Ganji. Ganji's criticism of Iran's leadership landed him in jail, where in 2005, he didn't eat for 80 days. For a country to move towards democracy, it's not enough for you to just talk, says Ganji. You have to take action. Ganji and his fellow celebrity hunger strikers are asking the UN to investigate alleged human rights violations in Iran. They want the international community to get involved too. We need action and we need it now, before more mothers and fathers are going to mourn their uh, sudden death of their kids. Gugu says change in Iran won't come overnight, but she hopes her first hunger strike helps bring awareness to what she calls a just cause. I hope that uh, the word can hear us. 60 people taking part in this hunger strike. It's nothing but tea, water, and sugar for the next three days. They don't have a permit to stay overnight, so they're going to go home at 8 p.m., come back at 8 a.m. through Friday. American celebrities also getting into the act, both Sean Penn and Robert Redford writing letters of support. Reza Sayah, CNN, New York.